sit down. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm Roger Derling. I'm the executive director of the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. Um, I actually also, besides running the Santa Barbara Film Festival, I've been teaching for 15 years are at the uh, Santa Barbara City College, which is actually one of, the, one of the most rewarding things I do. And about five years ago, I, I, uh, the state sent somebody to evaluate my teaching. And, um, and I was teaching, and the evaluator came over and he goes, you know, you're a really fantastic teacher. You're really enthusiastic. You know your stuff. But there is some material and some words that are inappropriate. Um, I think you should look, uh, no, and you should know that I'm going to show you a clip and that I, I have a lot of uh, students that, that are from foreign countries and I need to close caption the clips I show. So um, I have an evaluator, showed up at my class, and this is the clip that she showed, that she she saw. So I was written up for obscenity <laughs> during my teaching, and um, there is I am super excited tonight. I'm actually jumping out of my skin. Um, the fact that we have Martin Scorsese here in the room, and on top of that. And on top of that, we have Al Pacino. And, and if that wasn't enough, we have Leo DiCaprio in the room. Um, there's, to me, there's no more relevant filmmaker in cinema than Martin Scorsese. Um, let, let me rephrase that. Um, can you think? Can you, can you think or name another director that has remained as consistently relevant for all the decades that Scorsese has been? Um, starting in 1967 until 2019, he has remained synonymous with cutting edge movies. His movies are imbued with a constant yearning, with a constant questioning and longing that us as human beings and as film goers should be exposed to and, and seek nourishment from. Wait a second, movies as nourishment? Yes, um, our souls need, need nourishment. Nourishment for the mind and soul. And that is what Scorsese's movies do. In 1967, he introduced us to who, who's, uh, who's That Knocking at My Door, which started his collaboration with Keitel and with Thelma. The 1970s, he gave us Bo Boxcar Bertha, produced by Roger Corman. Then came Main, Main Streets. Then Alice Doesn't Leave Here Anymore, which won Ellen Bursting a Best Actress Oscar. Then came Taxi Driver. He encountered disappointment with New York, New York, but he dusted himself off and found redemption again in 1980 with Raging Bull. Perhaps perhaps the greatest achievement and one of the greatest movies ever made. And, and Robert De Niro won Best Actor Award Oscar for that film. That was followed by the King of, the King of Comedy. As a, tired, as a tired of media and stardom, whose central character is a trouble loner. Does this sound familiar? Uh, to you, Joker fans, um, and then The Last Temptation of Christ. The 1990s gave us uh, Goodfellas. Talk about, talk about cinematic confidence. De Niro and Pesci, Pesci winning Best Supporting Actor, and both of them are on fire. Can you believe it lost the Oscar to Dances with Wolves? Um, this was followed by Cape Fear, 
The Age of Innocence, Edith Wharton. Scorsese is handling a romance. Casino, Best Actress nomination for Sharon Stone. Kum Doon, bringing, bringing Out the Dead in 1999. Then come 2000s. 2002, Gangnam New York, first collaboration with Leo. 2004, The Aviator. Um, 2006, The Departed. He finally, he finally wins Best Director and Best Picture. 2010, Shutter Island. 2013, Wolf of Wall Street. And I can say this, Leo should have won Best Actor. Leo in The Wolf of Wall Street is the best performance of the 21st century so far. Um, this was followed 2016 silence, and now we have The Irishman. It is astonishing that in 20... In 2019, with The Irishman, at 76 years of age, Scorsese embarks in one of the most ambitious projects to date. And at three hours and a half, this is a saga, and, and there's no more relevant voice. There's no more hungrier voice. There's no more painful voice than Scorsese's about who we are today. And let's not forget, his brilliant documentaries, ranging from The Last Walls to, his, to this year's Rolling Thunder, a Bob Dylan story by Martin Scorsese. I'm out of breath here, but when I talk about Marty, I get out of breath. Um, he's also a historian who's been responsible, he's been responsible for the restoration and preservation of many cinematic treasures and involved in television, Borwark Empire, and vinyl. Marty, Marty's inquisitiveness and curiosity has kept us intrigued fascinated in a time's puzzle. What other commercial, think about it, what, ask yourself what other commercial and household name director will make us ponder ideas about guilt, about redemption, about faith, about masculinity, about machismo, about Catholicism, about crime, about morality, and now in The Irishman, he makes us think about the toll of time and getting old and regret and consequences, consequences of our actions and looking back at our lives, looking back as we look at the screen. He makes the films he wants to make rather than someone else's projects. Um, what other director has forged lasting collaborations with, with actors of the caliber of Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci? And then forge another co co collaboration with a brand new brand of fire that it's Leo DiCaprio. And now he has finally brought in Al Pacino into the fold. <laughs> Martin Scorsese is the most generous of collaborators. This is palpable, and the art uh, see the artistic crew he surrounded himself with screen screenwriters like Paul Schrader, John Logan, Steve Salian. He's he's think about his legendary relationship with editor uh, Thelma Schoonmaker, <laughs> cinematographer Rodrigo Prieto. Costume designer uh, Sandy Powell, Pro producer Emma, Emma Tillinger Koskoff, who's in the room. <laughs> All of these collaborations only emphasize Mar Marty's generosity and his trust. I've always taught my students that content, the subject of a film, should dictate the film, the way a film is made. As Scorsese walks that talk, the way Marty has led his life and his art, the way you've made films, Artie, and encouraged others to embrace cinema and art have become one. 
You are cinema, Martin Scorsese. There's no denying you are cinema. And cinema, and cinema is much greater because of you, Martin Scorsese. Long, long list cinema, for we need to escape and question the world and be challenged and be moved. And you've led the way and encouraged us to think and see the world the way you see it. So, so, so long live you. <laughs> and um, here's a, a small taste of Marty's work. Thank you.